Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. We got the call. We're on the way. We, we, I wanted to throw the old reseller siren on the hood. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Hot deal alert. So uh, we're on our way to go make a buy. This one's really got me a little nervous. Also excited. Also feeling a little greedy. Also feeling a little scared. How are you feeling about this deal? I'm excited. I am too. It's the last thing we expected to get a call for. Um, from Guy, so yep. we're going out to his place right now to get the stuff. We'll be there in just a minute. Okay, so we are guys now, and the thing we are buying is underneath this. We do know what it is. Guy managed to acquire a whole case of these, and you 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 bought these, right? Yeah. Well, they didn't fall off the back of a truck or nothing, huh? <laughs> All right, you ready? One, two, three. The big reveal. Boom. <laughs> a full case of the cactus whatever toys. A full case. These are not Happy Meal toys. Okay. No. These are, well, we're not going to peel cactus this tape. Cactus plant. I couldn't think of, yeah. That cactus plant flea market. Yes. And they are blind bags. Um, so we don't know how many we have of each figure. We're hoping we can make lots of the full four, you know, four to make lots of four. Does that make sense? sets yeah <laughs> so that's our plan we're gonna go through them and make our sets see up. how many sets we can make and how many are in here 150 there's 150 of these in here do we know have you looked through them at all or no so we're not we're not 100 percent sure we have sets in here. i've seen the girl pop the thing yeah you saw her pop the uh she case open. open okay so it hadn't been picked through or anything okay so yeah now the other you can tell these are still like factory yeah one Packed. one two three oh this little part here is bigger than the other ones yeah these feel like grimace, is grimace one of them? yeah these feel like grimace the little round thing okay so we can you can definitely like if you hold them up to the light this is the hamburger he's got his hat on I okay. You can see that. All right. So, yes. man, this is so risky. <laughs> and I'll tell y'all why I think this is risky because it's a fad right now. It's all, it's hot. It's trending. People are buying them, but there's a finite amount of time before to before the crowd, the people lose interest. All right. Yeah. Before before the clock strikes twelve. <laughs> yeah. How long do you think we have, guy, to get these sold? <laughs> ASAP, right? I Probably think as soon as you list them, they're gonna be sold. I hope so. Yeah. That's another thing I'm worried about. Like, what if we list all the all the sets, one person buys them all. Do it. And then they end up trying to defraud scam. defraud us or scam us somehow. I'm I'm definitely concerned about that too. So you use this as money laundering. <laughs> that's probably what we're doing right here right now look cactus plant flea market what's the story here that's a designer is it yeah we already talked about the price that we're gonna pay on the phone because we had to go get go get the money from the atm and a guy is selling us this case for 900 and i figured it out i think after after we get them listed shipped pay all the ebay fees and everything like that i think we can probably make 13 at the current price if it holds yeah long enough for us to get them to out get of here rid of all of them. yes so uh yeah let, let's do this so we have we do have documentation to back up what happened here so guy initially he went bought, in, he went in to get halloween pails yeah <laughs> two he two happy happy toy no food two halloween pails 338 and then he got guy was hungry and there's the pails <laughs> and that's when guy started talking to the lady and she said we got a couple more cases of these toys and we don't know what yeah. to do with them or whatever and they stopped selling them i think candace said yesterday right mm -hmm. so um they they sold one case he said to you know like just in meals and whatnot and they had the other case guy finessed the case out of them and look this is a real hustler look at this have you ever, look have you, a guy went over to McDonald's and spent two hundred and seventy dollars cash. You ever spent two seventy at McDonald's before, guy? Yeah, oh. teeny babies. Oh, this <laughs> teeny beanies. Never. I should have known. Not his first rodeo. Not his first rodeo. But yeah, so we, 
So it's all legit. Like it didn't go into a McDonald's employee's pocket or anything like that. It went to the till. It's all like maybe they weren't supposed to sell that many to one person, but it's all on the up and up. So uh, yeah, receipts are here. If I didn't buy them, someone else would have bought them. Yeah. That's, somebody else will You're buy them. You're in the right place at the right time. Yes. Somebody else is gonna buy them. They're just not gonna pay $1.69 for them. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh boy, this is awesome. I appreciate you calling us guys yeah pay that man Exciting. pay that before he changes his mind all right we worked out a deal we we wanted to pay a thousand but guy is doing 900 because he's a good guy thank you yeah. thank you guy damn that's awesome dude you really hooked us up on Man. this one again okay so i went ahead and took a photo of it here we're still at guy's place and i have the listing all set up it is five at 510, no, I don't, I do not want to boost visibility. Let me, okay, so no, we do not need to promote this. And we're gonna hit list at 510 and see how long it takes to sell. I'll come back whenever it sells. All right, we are back. It's now, it's now 625. We have not sold the first one yet. And I'm a nervous wreck. I keep on refreshing my app. <laughs> I spent $900 on these plastic McDonald's things and it might have been a big mistake. I got I can't lie. And I'm not dramatizing this. I am a little worried. He's he's very nervous. He keeps checking the app. <laughs> I am. I mean, we made way bigger deals than this, but this one I had a bad feeling about it. Everything I looked at on eBay, every everything told me to buy, but I had this like I had this gut instinct hunch whatever you want to call it that it was not not a good thing to buy but we're gonna find out you'll find out uh candace is going to sort these out by the four characters and we're going to see exactly how many we have of each so i can update quantity getting really nervous now let me show you why candace is <laughs> candace is sorting these things out and she thinks it's so funny it's not it's not our greed our greed got the best, uh, my greed got the best of me this time. <clears throat> we have look, a big old bag of Grimace. Look, we it. have this much Grimace. <laughs> and it's making Lonnie Grimace. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's a good joke. It's not. I'm not laughing. But now, it, it kind of depends on where you're pulling from. Hamburglar's starting to get there. Birdie is way far behind. We only got four birdies. So, hope... Ugh. I don't know if we have, we don't have enough left in that box. Oh, we, <laughs> we don't need any more grimaces. Oh, no grimace, not a grimace. A, yes, birdie. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Why did we do this? Can I go back, can I get in a time machine and I, I wonder if, I wonder how much guy would buy them back for right now. <laughs> Here, we'll sell you these for 400. Nah, man, I'll give you three. <laughs> Still sorting. That's the Hamburglers. Grimace. The Grimace bag might look really big because Grimace is bigger, too. He is. He's a lot rounder. <laughs> yeah, he's a big guy. We're not trying to shame him or anything, but he's a big old purple fella. And uh, Cactus looks somewhat right. Hamburglar's not far off. I'm just hoping the ones that are left in there are pretty much all birdies. All right, Candace, pull a birdie. Tell me, a, tell me you got birdies. I think these are all birdies. Yes, okay, we're good on that part. We still haven't sold one yet. <laughs> okay, so we've got a count. I was hoping it was like an even distribution. This box was sealed. He saw her open it. He saw her open it and I trust him. Yeah. Uh, when it, if it comes to something like that, I trust him 100%. Um, so we have 25 birdies, 23 hamburglers, 49 cactus, and we have 54 grimace, which means we can sell 23 sets. 23 sets. And we're going to have, after we sell 23 sets, or once we list 23 sets, we're going to have two birdies, uh, 26 cacti, <laughs> and. 20, 23, 54 minus 23 is what? 31 extra grimaces yeah. that we're going to have to sell individually. Yeah, we're about to recount our numbers, but that's about where we're at. 
because we did come up with a total of 151 and this case is supposed to have 150 so we're going to double check our numbers yeah still haven't sold one okay good news y'all we finally after waiting a bit actually what time is it it's 7 17 so it's been two hours and seven minutes since i put that listing up uh we've sold one finally which i'm happy with one well i'm not happy with it but it's proof of proof that people are still buying them okay so i'm gonna take one one last look with y'all tonight uh we have actually sold two of the full sets now we sold another set after our last talk to y'all and then we also sold an individual birdie for 19.99 plus shipping so uh, based on what we can see uh grimace like the box the boxes were all loaded with a lot of grimace so the cases were all had a lot of grimace <laughs> Because the people on eBay have way more Grimace than other stuff. Uh, and they're selling Grimace cheaper than the other, other characters too. But we'll come back to y'all in the morning and see what happened overnight. I'm not going to touch the prices until tomorrow. Which is going to be hard. <laughs> I'm kind of sweating this to be honest. Alright, it is the next morning. Good morning y'all. Good morning Candace. Good morning. And Good here. Got everything sorted. Yes, and I was a freaking nervous wreck. As soon as we bought these, I was a nervous wreck. I really was. Y'all, he was he was mad because I kept laughing at him. But on the way home, he kept refreshing the soul screen <laughs> to see if we'd sold it. And like when we got home, he was just kept looking and he was so nervous. And um, I, I, was. I mean, I understand why, but I didn't have any doubt after looking at how the sales were going, you know. Okay, so. well, let, let's look and see how we've done so far anyway so there's... let me i'm gonna let y'all know that the going rate on the market is what probably like more close more like a hundred yeah 100 for the four different characters like a full set so we decided to kind of undercut the market just to move them oh yeah so um we priced them at 70 plus ship yeah so uh this is the main listing and like i said we only had 23 full sets yeah. full complete sets Mm -hmm. and we sold them all you can see zero available 23 sold at 69.99 plus shipping um and we'll, we'll look more at those numbers let me pull up the other listings okay now this is a cactus buddy that we had 25 of we sold four at 14.99 plus ship and we're probably gonna have to redo the photo. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, keep one and open it and redo the picture, show them what they're getting. Because a lot of people may not know who Cactus Buddy is. Although I think if they're buying this, they should. But anyway, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna market the price down a few dollars. Probably like $12.99. Yeah. And this, see is a, this is about the going rate, but here's what's going on. Um, the reason we had a lot of Grimace and Cactus Buddy is because that's what they produced the most of. So they didn't produce equal amounts of everything, which we found out later, which is why we only had, had 23 full sets. And um, you'll see shortly that um, the like we didn't have any extra Hamburglar. And then um, Birdie was the next one that mm -hmm. there weren't as many of. And we only had two extra of those and they sold almost immediately. And then Grimace was the next one that we had the most of. And um, we'll show you that shortly. And then Buddy, Cactus Buddy. No, Grimace, Grimace we had the most of. Yeah. And then Cactus, and then Cactus Buddy Cactus was Buddy. second. So, uh, and if, if you look on eBay, those, like the way our box is packed, I think is typical. Yeah. Of all the boxes. The prices if you, on eBay reflect it. Yeah, yeah. Ham, Hamburglar's most rare, Birdie follows, and then so on. And the, so, yeah, the prices do reflect that. And we also priced ours according to that. And um, But I think we're going to drop Cactus Buddy down by a couple of bucks. $12.99. And uh, I want to get it, I want to get those all out today. Yeah. I want to get those done we're today. I want to be done with them. Let me show you the other listings. And this is the listing for Grimace. I, they all just look like bags, right? That, that's what they are. Yeah. Uh, and this is the listing for Grimace. We had 31 and we sold them all at $9.99 a piece plus shipping. And then this is the other listing we made. Still just a bag. Basically, you could use the same photo. We actually didn't. We actually used the right bag for each listing, even though nobody could ever tell. Yeah. Uh, we, we sold two of those at $19.99 plus shipping on top. We need to get these things packed. We got a bunch of packing to do. Probably take a couple hours. We'll go ahead and do that now, and then we'll come back and show you all the boxes, and then we'll talk about the numbers. How much money did we make, or how much money have we made so far? 
All right, Candace and I did all this. It was an assembly line kind yeah. of process. We kind of tag team packing and got it done in about two hours. Not um, bad. No, Not this is a this is 131 individual toys in their bags, of course. But all this together is 131 toys that we boxed up, packed up. And so now we are left with um, 18 cactus buddies. So our strategy was we dropped the price a couple of dollars because we're ready to be done with this and move on to something else. So we've already dropped the price by two bucks on these. And I'm going to update the photo showing what he looks like in case people that are looking don't know what he looks like. And um, hopefully they'll sell out by tomorrow. So we'll we, be done. We, we don't usually uh, want to undercut the market because I think it's bad for us because we don't make as much money. And it's also bad for... In the long run, it's not good. And it's not good for other sellers too. Yeah. Like if everybody just undercut everybody all the time, we'd all just be at the bottom. Right. But this special case right here, uh, us take being willing to beat everyone else on price, mm -hmm. let us get in and out and mitigated the risk some. Yeah, hopefully, but you know, I mean, I'm sure this craze is going to die down soon because there's a limited number of these things out there. So we didn't want to be stuck with a bunch. No, that was especially I was really scared about the grimaces. Not scared, <laughs> but like it, Candace. What, what is a grimace? It's a big, per big fat purple guy. If you want to get, if you want to be shaped like Grimace, eat McDonald's. Look, I kind of look like you Grimace. Want purple. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect Grimace packing attire. I was just always wondering, like, what is Grimace? You got, you know, like. I don't know. That you know what? That's what I was thinking made this buy r really risky, is that it, there was no franchise involved other than McDonald's characters, and they haven't been cool since the 70s. Yeah. And were they but cool? They were then? smart. They put it in adult Happy Meal toys, so the nostalgia mm -hmm. of the classic characters for the adult meals, and it, it, it worked. It just felt weird, and it felt wrong. The, the whole thing just didn't make sense, because how many times have we bought Happy Meal toys that are still in the packages at garage sales, and you got to bundle up like 20 or 30 of them together just to get the 20 thing. bucks or something, right? Funny like, funny thing, though, last night with us having these, we sold two listings for other Happy Meal toys yeah. that we already had been listed. Right. They sold last night, so yeah. Yeah. it helped out with that, too. Yeah, so uh, we do have, we actually do have like real orders, real reselling stuff business, not just like quick flip hype quick uh what we call that like hype hype flip or something like i don't know what you call this <laughs> this is not our no normal mode of operation i don't i don't know if i could well i could handle doing this every day actually i feel like i would be working in a it's factory a little, or something it's a little stressful we it were wasn't, it wasn't it was fun but i wouldn't want to do it every day so we changed the price on bert not birdie uh the cactuses and all the cactuses sold at eleven ninety nine. They sold within a couple hours. I got them packed. It didn't take too long. It took about twenty minutes to pack them all. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Everything is out. And you know, I wanted to take the pulse of what other resellers kind of think of that kind of buy. So I did post on Instagram yesterday. Uh, my buddy wants nine hundred dollars for this. Should we do it? And I was. I was expecting a lot of people to say no because of the amount of money and it's it's risky it could bottom could fall out any minute and it, after all it is mcdonald's plastic toys right and there's not even really a franchise associated with it other than mcdonald's so i get i get the trepidation however i was surprised that it was like almost 100 percent no like i and it, it made me start questioning i was like when I was when I was offered this deal to buy, I looked at it for about ten minutes. I looked I looked on eBay. I thought about it, and I, I I ran the numbers in my head real quick, and I was like, I came to a snap yes, but then all these other people are saying like a snap no. Of course, they didn't really have the opportunity in front of them, so it's not maybe not quite fair it was just a theoretical that they they weren't going to do but still i just thought it was weird how how i was so far out of whack with prevailing opinion so and i i'll be honest i did get nervous when we listed them at first and we didn't sell anything for the first couple of hours but that may have just been some kind of 
eBay server propagation thing. We had to wait for it to propagate among all the eBay servers. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it, it ended up working out. Once after that couple of hours, uh, they just started all popping. Bing, bing, bing. It, it happened fast. But it was a, uh, it was definitely a uh, higher risk, high reward situation. It cost, it didn't cost much in time because uh, it was a, it was cheap as far as time goes, and I would say it was expensive on the money side. But I've been in so many different situations where it was cheap on the money side and then expensive on the time side. And even though a lot of people identify that, hey, time is money, they don't really believe that whenever they're looking at, like, you spent $900 versus you spent like we only spent five hours on this if we would have if i would have said well we spent 20 hours on this you wouldn't say you spent 20 hours you know like the money even though time is money the money always seems to you know dominate over time whenever you're looking at numbers right but uh yeah let's look at the numbers a little closer and what i did i, I use this ebay calculator ebay fee calculator site and I have four different screens pulled up, and I'm looking at one here, but I'm putting a putting it in the screen there. But uh, all I did on each one of these, I put in the sold price, the shipping charge, and that's not going to always be the same because shipping is different to different zones. But it's not that different. Like some some of the shipping was, you know, four four dollars. Some was three dollars and eighty cents. Some would be six dollars. Like it, it it just depended. So I used a, an average of five. We have twenty four. Uh, $24 for the item cost because I paid $6 per unit and there were four units in each set. And then we had number of orders, 23, premium store, top rated. Uh, let's see, promoted ad rate percentage. I did do 5% promoted on these. Um, I also figured a 6% sales tax. And the reason that's relevant is because although the customer pays the sales tax and I never get that money, uh, you do have to pay eBay fees on the sales tax. So that's why that, that line is there. And you can see on just the sets so we had 23 of, we paid $295 in eBay fees and our total net profit was $762.12 just on the full sets. And then if we move on, this is for the um, the birdies. We had two birdies and we made $19.34 on them. And this is 24 at 11.99. That is for the cactuses. Uh, we made $72.30 off of those. And then the grimaces, even though we had the most of those, we had 31 of them. Uh, we sold them like really cheap because we had so many and they were the most, um, they're the most readily available character because the box, the cases seem to be packed heavier with grimaces than anything else. So anyways, we made, uh, by selling 31 grimaces and thank goodness a lot of those or, or some of those anyways were on multiple quantity orders in the same box. Uh, we did make $41.80 on the grimaces. So that brings us up to a total of, look, this is my, <laughs> this is my accounting method for the purposes of this, this video. That comes up to a total of $895 and 56 cents. I, I estimated about $40 in packing supplies, boxes, bubble wrap, paper, tape, things like that. And uh, now we're down to $855 and 56 cents net profit so we paid nine hundred dollars we spent five hours and we made eight hundred and fifty five dollars in profit uh it was exhilarating it was fun it was exhausting and i'm glad i got to share it with you guys i hope y'all enjoyed um if you like this kind of stuff please consider clicking on subscribe down below and i will see y'all again very soon bye guys thanks for watching